In this video, I will show you how to create a zoom through text effect like this one using DaVinci. So let's get started. To create this effect, I have already imported a video into DaVinci. I have also given the link of this video in the description for you to download. Also, I will be working here in the edit page of DaVinci to create this effect. So to start, I will firstly drag this video on the timeline. Then I will shift this video a track above that is on track number 2. Then I will go to the toolbox here on the left hand side. Here I will click on the titles and from here I will drag this basic text on my timeline. I will place it here on track number 1 that is below my video. Right now we are not able to see our title because it is placed under the video. So we will firstly have to disable the view of our video. So to do that I will click on this option here disable video track. And now I am able to see my text. So now with the text layer selected, I will be able to customize it here from the right hand side. I will firstly change it to something I want. Then I will choose a bold font for it, something like impact. I will also increase the font size to some extent. Now I will enable the view of my video back by clicking on this option here. Then I will select my video and from here on the right hand side I will go to the composite mode and from here I will change the composite mode from normal to multiply. So as you can see I am able to see my video through the text now. But now I want to apply an animation to the text so that it firstly zooms in and then disappears. So to do that I will firstly select the text layer and then here I will go to the settings. And from here I will activate this option called dynamic zoom. By default this will apply a zoom out effect on my text but I want to apply a zoom in effect. So to do that I will click on this swap option here. And now a zoom in effect has been applied to our video which looks something like this. I will make it look much better by clicking here on this drop down button. And from here I will choose this option called dynamic zoom. So you can see two rectangles here on the screen. The outer green rectangle represents the starting point for this effect while the inner one represents the ending point. I will decrease the size of the inner rectangle by dragging it from any of the corner like this. I will decrease its size to as low as possible and then I will place this inner rectangle on any of my alphabet like this. So our effect will look something like this now. So very good zoom in effect has been applied but as you can see there is a problem. As soon as our text disappears from the video, the rest of the video is not visible, it has turned black. To resolve this issue, I will place my playhead here at the end of the title and then I will activate this blade button by clicking on it. Then I will click on the video to split it into two parts. Then I will again activate the selection mode by clicking here. Now I will select the second video. And then here I will go to the composite tab and from here I will change the composite from multiply to normal. And our final video is ready, let's preview how this looks. So that's it for this video, if you find it useful, do hit the like and subscribe button for more such videos, thank you so much.